Euros with everything on the line. Which country will be crowned champions of Europe? It's going to be fascinating finding out. What next? We'll find out on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's England versus France. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Bellingham misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, psychologically for England, it was such a difficult thing to go through at the last Euros when they lost to Italy on penalties, so near and yet so far. How will they deal with the pressure of the final on this occasion? Well, I think they're a very good team. I think they're playing with a lot of confidence. They've got good team spirit. The manager seems to have got things right, which he didn't do in previous tournaments in the big games. I think this is going to be a good performance, and I think they will win the game. But he's gone short with it. Possible opportunity. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Just had no time on the ball on account of the pressure. And they need to get tighter. And Bellingham. Well, that's how to keep... Well, the referee had to stop play, and he's doing that now so the player can receive treatment. And they'll get things going again with a drop ball. Mike Menyon. Playing it short. Nicely cut out. Plenty of support here. The opening goal in the final! And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick reply from England? There needs to be. Decided to take on the shot from a difficult angle. 
Not a memorable effort, though. Well, you have to question the decision-making there. Could he have cut it back? The angle was always against him. Moving forward effectively. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Bukayo Saka. Now space for England out wide. Wonderful challenge, but the chance is still on. Good example of pressing without the ball. Can he find the net? Oh, did so well to deny him. And over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, it's advantage France after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Trippier, clean challenge, and France exploiting the space on the flank. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, an opportunity for France, perhaps to make it look even better. And short it is. Aimed towards Mbappe. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Trippier. Rice with it. Jude Bellingham. And England with acres of space out wide. And it's played into the centre. Did well to clear it away. Aurelien Chouameni. Good work from England to win back possession. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Yes, man. And support available. That 
chances are popped from here. Determined defending. Saka. Alexander Arnold. Being egged on by the crowd. Determined defending. Can he get them level? Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Doesn't have to do it on his own. Went in strongly to win the ball. Saka. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. France giving away possession. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Jude Bellingham and teammates around him. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. No way through. And there goes the final whistle. France have won the Euros on this pulsating night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, France! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant.